Hello and welcome back. Today's video is a little less of an intense topic and very overdue actually. And I can't believe it's taken me so long to finally introduce you to my pet mice, Stella and Leslie. Yeah, I'm going to just talk about my mice. And if that's something that you're interested in, then this is the video for you. I have two female fancy mice, Stella and Leslie. They are roughly seven to eight months old, I think. Stella is currently stuck in my hair somewhere. So I'll show you Leslie first. This is Leslie. She is like a brown mouse. She is the larger of the two. When I first got them, she was actually the smaller one. Now she is the little chubby one. She is a lot more confident than Stella. She's very active and I'd say quite a bit of a tomboy. She loves running. She's very affectionate. She will literally give me kisses. She'll lick my nose and people probably think that's grim having a, a mouse lick your face, but look at her. <laughs> Leslie has got something wrong with her. She sneezes a lot. If you don't know, mice are prone to respiratory issues. So I have taken her to the vet. On the whole, her lungs are all fine and that. However, um, it is something to keep an eye on and it could get progressively worse. Obviously, her sister Stella does not sneeze. I'm currently trialing new bedding just to see if that will help because I noticed her sneezing was getting a bit worse the other day, which I was worried about. I will talk about bedding in a bit when I show the cage. Stop shitting on me. Okay, so this is Stella. She is a dark brown bordering black mouse and she has a tanned belly. She's the smaller of the two. She's a lot more reserved. She likes to keep herself to herself. She has got a lot better as time's gone on. She was so shy when I first had her and took a lot of extra time to get her more tame and better being handled. Now she's pretty good but she still out of the two would rather just chill and do her own thing. She's a proper girl's girl. She's not like Leslie who's a bit rough and ready, a bit of a tomboy. Kimmy. No, she's going back in the hair. See, Leslie, chill. She'll just sit there. She's calm. Stella, on the other hand, is like, I must hide. Definitely should have tied my hair up for this. Stella is very photogenic, though. She takes a very good photo and call me crazy, but she does smile. She smiles for the camera. She just knows how to pose. And if you'd like to see some photos that I've taken of them, I do have an Instagram for them, at Stella and Leslie, of course. Their favourite food is cucumber and spinach. Uh, they go mad for spinach, but just in case you don't know, I think spinach, that it dehydrates them, so you don't give it to them a lot. So yeah, their favourite treat is spinach. Stella also, she loves nesting and making new nests, and she's a proper interior design kind of gal. People are going to think, I have lost it. And yeah, I will like clean out their, their cage, and then she's straight Straight away like she can't rest until she's made a new cozy bed for the two of them so yeah she's um i'd say in charge out of the two she is you know quieter but it's her house and <laughs> leslie lives with her kind of thing oh if you're wondering uh why they've got the name stella and leslie stella is named after my favorite beer <laughs> Stella Artois and Leslie is accidentally like this wasn't intentional when we were naming them I didn't realize but we had the big Les show on in the background we were like sitting playing with them and coming up with names and I came up with Leslie I was like great I love that name yeah Leslie done and then watched back because we were filming at the time uh, watched back the video when we were naming them and what do I hear in the background the big Les show so yeah accidentally named Les after Les <laughs> What the fuck? So yeah, that is Stella and Leslie. Oh, hello. This is the first layer of their house. Excuse me. The bedding that I'm currently using is new. It's called Back to Nature, I think. So I've only literally just had them in it today. It's like recycled paper. I'm trialing this because of Leslie's breathing. I was using one previously that was like a 99% dust free one and that was Carefresh. And like, it's good. It's obviously um, fine for Stella. If you don't know, sawdust is a no-no for mice because of the dust and because of their breathing issues. But yeah, so this is a new bedding. I'm hoping that it's going to be even better, hopefully, in terms of dust. This bundle here is where they've currently been making their nests. Hello, baby. So that, again, I'm trying new things. Used to use like um, shredded paper and this fluff, which is the natural fluff from a kapok seed. I think I'm, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah. Uh, so again, like no cotton wool, that's not good for them. And this is just kitchen roll that I've just torn up and they tear it up themselves as well. And it obviously goes deeper in there. All right, are you gonna get down so mummy can make it? So I can build your cage? Hello, hello, hello. 
<laughs> oh, you so want to play today, don't you? They've got like wooden toys and stuff to chew on. Beep, beep. So yeah, this is like the nest bit. And they've got a wheel. Uh, what do you call them? Space? No, what's it called? Flying saucer. It's a fly, a flying saucer wheel. Obviously, I'm limited with space for the wheel. And they have to have um, larger wheels so that their towels, when they're on them, don't bend up. It can cause them spinal issues. So that's why they've got a flat flying saucer. Excuse me. Oh, you don't make it easy for me, do you? You really don't. Oh, shit. No, of course you're going to both... <sighs> there we go. So then they've got this third layer and then another house up here. Again, it did have like shredded paper and stuff in there, but at the moment I'm trialing just kitchen roll. It doesn't look very attractive, but it's less dusty. Obviously recycled paper is fine, but I've just noticed personally that when I'm breaking it apart, it does tend to fly up with like dust particles. I'm trialing all these things, but at the end of the day, Stella is fine. And like the bedding that I have used in the past is technically as, as good as it can be for what they're prone to. And Stella is fine. Uh, Leslie's just obviously more sensitive. So I'm going even further in to trying to find things that suit them or her needs better. But yeah, I'm gonna give you a tour of their house now. Here we have the mansion. It is three layers. The top layer is got this little house that's made of grass and that's carrot up on the top. And to be honest, they just piss and shit in there, not gonna lie, and eat the little house. Then I've got a water bowl there because it's just better to encourage not always drinking from a bottle, which is there. Tangy stuff, which they usually break, they will chew the rope and then all the stuff comes flying off. They are replaced quite often, but yeah, just more stuff to stimulate them. There is a tube that that runs from the second layer to the bottom layer. When I bought this cage, I was hoping that it'd come with like, I don't know what you call them, like plugs to plug off the hole, but it didn't. So I had no choice but to assemble the tube. Um, <laughs> was quite nervous about it, but I check it every single day because obviously I don't want them getting out. And they do actually really enjoy it, which is annoying because I was going to get rid of it. But anyway, then obviously they've got the flying saucer wheel and then down the bottom, they've got the wigwam, their neck, their food, another water bottle, and yeah, just some toys and stuff. But yeah, that is the cage, and that is the mice. It's quite hectic to film with small rodents, as you can imagine. Just to round off key points of having mice, they are obviously active animals, and they're small, and they will bolt <laughs> if you're not careful. They are nocturnal, so if you are considering getting mice, uh, these are things to consider. They don't live for very long, they live for around one two years if you're lucky they are seven eight months old so that is something that i'm very very worried about and not prepared for i don't find stella and leslie that loud in terms of them the only thing that makes a noise is their will at night so if you're a light sleeper that's again something else to consider i'm luckily not at my meds just so <laughs> i'm okay in terms of cost they aren't expensive to buy they were like 13 pounds for both of them. Their bedding and stuff costs as much as you use and their food and treats and obviously if you need to take them to the vet like I did. It's like having any pet, isn't it? Apart from that, they're great. Highly recommend. They are so much fun. They're surprisingly affectionate. Obviously you can't really sit in bed and cuddle them because you do run the risk of squashing them. But you know, you can have a little play. I have a, um, like a play pen that I sometimes sit in with them and let them run around. Yes, they do like to climb out, but it's still a bit of a fun game. I can't really think of anything else. So thank you for watching if you have, and I will see you in the next one.